Goa University's Vice Chancellor Professor Varun Sahani is setting up new precedents for the elected students council and student organizations. He is planning to give representation to the council members in the academic council. But he has refused to talk to the student leaders who are neither students nor fall within the upper age limit. Professor Sahani was speaking at the installation ceremony of the Postgraduate Students Union of the Goa University on Friday. RDA Minister Jay Sargaonkar was the chief guest for this function. Together for university panel under the leadership of Gaurav Parte has constituted the PG students body at the university. So I am not somebody who has any problem with politics. And I certainly don't have any problem with student politics. At all. Zero. I welcome it. And we are bound by the judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court of India. And student politics has to be done within the parameters of the recommendations of the Lindo Committee as accepted by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. I'm very clear about that. So if there's student politics, you have to be 24 or below if you're an undergraduate. You have to be 26 or years or below if you're a postgraduate. And you have to be, I think, 28 years or below if you are a research student. Those are clear upward ceilings prescribed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. So if I face a student delegation where there's anybody over the age of 28 there, I will not interact with you. Because to interact with you means violating what the Honorable Supreme Court is saying. So recently, the, one of the issues that was raised was about so-called open elections. The idea that all the students of the colleges and the university together should form <coughs> one single electorate and select a union. It came, the demand came from a certain student organization and a few others. And our response is a very simple one. You cannot make changing of the rules of condition for participation in an election. You've got to participate under the rules that already exist, win the election, and then change the rules. So at the moment, we are actively considering, Academic Council is actively considering, what type of student representation can we have in Academic Council itself? Okay. So some elected representative of the students will sit in Academic Council. And if there are items that, which are confidential, where students can't be involved, we'll break the meetings into part A and part B. Part A are for items which students can participate in, then we'll have a nice lunch, then we'll say goodbye to the students, and then we'll sit down for part B. Other universities do that. A reporter Mahim Manari with video journalist Irshad Sheikh from Panji.